The 2014 NHL Draft was loaded with young talent as teams looked to bolster their rosters with future All-Stars. However, there was arguably no better pick than the Boston Bruins selecting David Pasternak, their franchise right winger, with the 25th pick overall. Fast forward 10 years and this pick will now go down as one of the biggest draft steals in NHL history. And how could so many teams not see the phenomenal potential in Pasternak? In today's video, we'll be going over all 20 24 players drafted before Pasta and how their careers have panned out thus far. Let's dive right in. Aaron Ekblad was the top-rated defenseman in the 2014 NHL Draft, though debate surrounded whether he should be the first overall pick. The Florida Panthers ultimately chose Ekblad as their first overall pick, envisioning him as a franchise-defining player for their defense. He began impressively with 12 goals and 39 points in his rookie season, earning an all-star spot in 2015. Despite injuries slowing his scoring progress, Ekblad reached over 65 points twice, with potential for another strong season in 2023-24. Despite setbacks, he remains an elite NHL defenseman, instrumental in the Panthers' first playoff series victory in over 20 years. Following Aaron Ekblad's selection as the first overall pick, the Buffalo Sabres swiftly chose Sam Reinhart as the second overall pick to boost their young, high-scoring talent for rebuilding. Despite his high draft position, Reinhart endured a slow start in the NHL, playing only nine games with the Buffalo Sabres in 2014-15 before returning to the Kootenai Ice to complete his junior career. From the 2015-16 season onwards, Reinhart became a consistent presence on the Sabres' roster. While his 2018-19 season saw success with 22 goals and 65 points, expectations were higher for the second overall pick. Traded to the Florida Panthers in 2020-21, Reinhardt flourished, achieving back-to-back 30-plus -back goal seasons and setting a new career high in goals in the 2023-24 season. The Edmonton Oilers made a significant move, selecting Leon Dreisaitl as the third overall pick in the 2014 NHL Draft, aiming to add a big-bodied, highly skilled center to their lineup. Despite not being the draft's top skater, Dreisaitl was expected to develop into an all-around star. The Oilers' decision paid off immensely. Dreisaitl emerged as a top-tier scorer and playmaker since joining the team, slightly overshadowed by Connor McDavid's exceptional talent. His standout 2022-23 season, scoring 52 goals and totaling 128 points, firmly established him as one of the league's elite players. With a promising future, Dreisaitl remains a prominent figure in the Oilers' resurgence. Despite Sam Bennett's inability to perform a single pull-up at the 2014 NHL Combine, he was recognized as one of the draft's top North American skaters. The Calgary Flames valued his potential as the best all-around forward and drafted him fourth overall. While his NHL debut in the 2015 playoffs showed promise, subsequent seasons saw him struggle to exceed the 30-point mark, accumulating a combined minus 40 rating over three years. In 2021, the Flames traded Bennett to the Florida Panthers, where he experienced a resurgence. Excelling in a top six role, he secured a four-year extension, solidifying his importance to the Panthers lineup. Michael Dell calls exceptional playmaking skills, highlighted by a standout 95-point season with the Oshawa Generals, made him a standout in a draft filled with offensive talent. Selected fifth overall by the New York Islanders, he was seen as an ideal complement to star center John Tavares. However, Dell Call struggled to secure a consistent roster spot with the Islanders, tallying only seven points in 32 games up to the 2018-19 season and 10 points in 50 three games in 2019-20. He spent most of his North American playing days in the AHL and now finds himself currently playing in Germany. The 2013-14 season proved disastrous for the Vancouver Canucks, leading to changes in management and coaching. Despite missing the playoffs, they aimed to revitalize with a top 10 pick in the 2014 NHL Draft, selecting Jake Vertanen. His early career was plagued by injuries, hindering his development. Despite finding consistency in later seasons, he struggled to meet expectations as a power forward. Amidst uncertainty about his future, a sexual misconduct allegation and declining performance 
led to the Canucks buying out his contract in 2021. Vertanen then played in the KHL and Swiss League before joining the German DEL League. Selected as the second defenseman in the 2014 NHL Draft, Hayden Fleury arrived at the Carolina Hurricanes with high expectations. With a strong physical presence and impressive scoring history in the WHL, he showed promise. After a season in the AHL, he made the Hurricanes opening night roster in 2017-18 but struggled to make an impact. Challenges persisted in 2018-19, including injuries and limited ice time due to the team's defensive depth. In 2021, he he was traded to the Anaheim Ducks, then claimed by the Seattle Kraken in the expansion draft. Fleury signed with the Tampa Bay Lightning in 2022, where he still plays, bouncing in and out of the lineup. Selected 8th overall by the Toronto Maple Leafs in the 2014 NHL Draft, William Nylander emerged as a standout player for the team. Making his full-time NHL debut in 2016-17, he thrived alongside Austin Matthews, contributing significantly to the team's playoff push with 22 goals and 61 points. Nylander continued to impress in 2017-18, solidifying his status as an offensive force with 20 goals and 61 points. Recognizing his value, the Maple Leafs secured Nylander's future with an eight-year, $92 million contract in the 2023-24 season, cementing his role as a cornerstone player in their quest for a Stanley Cup. Selected ninth overall by the Winnipeg Jets, Nikolai Ehlers brought exceptional offensive skills honed in in the QMJHL. Transitioning to the NHL in 2015-16, he found his scoring touch, reaching a peak in 2016-17 with 25 goals and 64 points. His stellar performance earned him a significant seven-year, $42 million extension with the Jets, solidifying his importance to the franchise. Ehlers continued to shine, notching 29 goals and 60 points in 2017-18, establishing himself as a key scorer for Winnipeg. With expectations high, he's poised to maintain his 20 to 30 goal contributions as the Jets pursue playoff success in the future. Nick Ritchie, a prominent forward from the 2014 NHL Draft, garnered attention for his size and skill, earning him the 10th overall pick by the Anaheim Ducks. After brief AHL and NHL stints in 2015-16, he secured a full-time role with the Ducks in 2016-17, showcasing physical play alongside 14 goals and 28 points. However, a trade to the Boston Bruins at the 2020 deadline marked a challenging turn, with Ritchie struggling to find consistency in the NHL. Currently, he competes in the Finnish Elite League, facing uncertainty due to suspension issues with his Finnish club. In the 2014 NHL entry draft, the Nashville Predators selected Kevin Fiala as the 11th overall pick, recognizing his dynamic offensive skills despite his smaller stature. After limited appearances with the Predators from 2014 to 2016, Fiala had his first full-time NHL season in 2017-18, tallying 48 points. He was subsequently traded to the Minnesota Wild in 2019. Fiala's career took off with the LA Kings, where he became a key contributor over the last two seasons, as they aim to secure their first Stanley Cup since 2014. Selected 12th overall by the Arizona Coyotes, Brendan Perlini was highly touted after an impressive stint with the Niagara Ice Dogs in the OHL. Making his debut in 2016-17, he became a full-time player the following season, scoring 17 goals. Traded to the Chicago Blackhawks in early 2018-19, he later played with the Detroit Red Wings before heading to Switzerland in 2020. Returning to North America, including a stint in Edmonton in 2021-22, Perlini now competed in the AHL with the Charlotte Checkers, aiming for an NHL roster spot in the future. Selected 13th in the 2014 NHL Draft, Jakob Verana's career ignited with a Stanley Cup win alongside the Washington Capitals in 2018. Transitioning to a full-time player in 2017-18, he contributed to the Capitals' triumph. Traded to the Detroit Red Wings for Anthony Mantha in 2020-21, Verana showed promise with 22 goals and 10 assists in 42 games. However, injuries and time in the NHL's player assistance program hindered his consistency, challenging challenging his long-term impact in Detroit following the trade. 
The Dallas Stars drafted Finnish defenseman Julius Honka as the 14th overall pick following a standout season with the Swift Current Broncos, where he tallied 56 points in 60 games. Making his NHL debut in the 2016-17 season, Honka struggled to secure a permanent role with the Stars until 2018-19. After stints in the Finnish league, he returned briefly to the Stars in 2020, but ultimately signed a two-year contract with the Swedish league in May 2021. Currently, he he competes in the Swiss League as his NHL career didn't progress as expected. The Detroit Red Wings struck gold in the 2014 NHL entry draft with Dylan Larkin, a cornerstone player in their rebuild. Joining the team in 2015-16 after a standout season at the University of Michigan, Larkin made an immediate impact, scoring in his NHL debut and becoming a mainstay in the lineup. Progressing swiftly, he became alternate captain in 2018-19 and was later named team captain in 2020-21. While he may not reach the heights of players like Pasternak from the same draft, Larkin has unquestionably been a valuable asset for the Red Wings. The Columbus Blue Jackets selected Sonny Milano at number 16, attracted by his skillful play and impressive performances in the U.S. National Team Program and World Junior Hockey Championship. Despite initially committing to Boston College, Milano chose the OHL's Plymouth Whalers, a move that proved fruitful with a successful season of 22 goals and 68 points. However, he struggled to secure a consistent roster spot with the Jackets from 2015 to 2020. Traded to the Anaheim Ducks in February 2020, Milano has since navigated between the NHL and AHL, currently within the Washington Capitals organization. The Philadelphia Flyers drafted defenseman Travis Sanheim with the 17th overall pick in the 2014 NHL Draft, recognizing his potential at 6'3 from his junior career with the Calgary Hitmen in the WHL. Sanheim seamlessly transitioned to professional play, starting with the AHL's Lehigh Valley Phantoms in 2016, before earning a spot on the Flyers' main roster for the 2017-18 season. Now 27, he plays a crucial top six defenseman role for the Flyers, often overlooked but contributing significantly to the team's success with his size and defensive prowess against top opponents. Selected 18th overall by the Minnesota Wild in the 2014 NHL Entry Draft, Alex Tuck's tenure with the team didn't reach significant heights. In June 2017, he was traded to the Vegas Golden Knights, where he flourished as a middle six forward, tallying 139 points in 249 games over four seasons. Despite signing a seven-year extension with Vegas in 2018, Tuck was eventually dealt, along with draft picks and prospect Peyton Krebs, to the Buffalo Sabres in the blockbuster trade for Jack Eichel. Now a key power forward with the Sabres, Tuck plays a vital role in their quest to regain relevance in the NHL. The Tampa Bay Lightning took a risk on Tony D'Angelo, selecting him 19th overall despite character concerns. While he demonstrated talent, issues persisted, leading to a trade to the Arizona Coyotes during the 2016 NHL entry draft. D'Angelo's NHL debut came with the Coyotes, later moving to the New York Rangers in 2017. Despite regular NHL play, behavioral incidents led to his contract buyout in 2020-21. He then joined the Carolina Hurricanes for the 20. 2021-22 season before signing with the Philadelphia Flyers briefly and returning to Carolina where he currently plays. Nick Schmaltz, drafted 20th overall by the Chicago Blackhawks, initially appeared poised to lead the team's new generation of centers. His NHL debut in the 2016-17 season showed promise, with six goals and 22 assists as a rookie. However, subsequent seasons didn't meet expectations, leading to his trade to the Arizona Coyotes early in the 2018-19 season. This move proved beneficial for the Coyotes, as Schmaltz consistently provides them with 40 to 60 points per season and remains with the organization today. 
Robbie Fabry, despite his smaller stature, displayed exceptional skill as a forward prospect in the 2014 draft, boasting 87 points in 58 games with the Gulf Storm. Joining the Blues in the 2015-16 season, he remained with them until 2018-19, aside from a brief AHL stint for conditioning. Despite two severe knee injuries, Fabry proved highly productive for the Blues, contributing to their Stanley Cup win in 2019, although he didn't play in all playoff games. Traded to the Detroit Red Wings in 2019-20, he continues his career with them. Considered one of the top international prospects in the 2014 NHL Draft, Kasperi Kapanen surprised many by falling to the 22nd overall pick, where the Pittsburgh Penguins selected him. However, his time with the Penguins was short-lived as he was traded to the Toronto Maple Leafs just over a year later, with Phil Kessel going the other way. Kapanen performed well in Toronto until December 2020, when he was traded back to the Penguins for prospects and draft picks. Since then, he has struggled to replicate his early your success and currently plays for the St. Louis Blues. Out of the 30 players chosen in the first round, only Connor Bleakley has never made an appearance in an NHL game. Colorado Avalanche opted not to sign him to an entry-level contract, eventually trading his rights to the Arizona Coyotes at the 2016 trade deadline. However, the Coyotes also chose not to sign him. Bleakley re-entered the 2016 NHL entry draft, where the St. Louis Blues selected him and signed him to an entry-level contract. Despite this opportunity, he never managed to break into the NHL NHL and has spent years moving between the AHL and ECHL, where he currently plays. In 2014, Jim Benning used the first-round pick obtained from the Ryan Kessler trade to select Jared McCann as the 24th overall pick for the Canucks. McCann had an impressive junior career, amassing 27 goals and 62 points in his draft year in the OHL. He transitioned to the NHL with Vancouver in 2015-16, but was soon traded to the Florida Panthers. McCann became a full-time NHL player with the Panthers in 2017-18, before being traded to the Penguins in 2018. He remained a regular in Pittsburgh until the 2021-22 expansion draft, where the Seattle Kraken selected him and he continues to play for them today. And there you have it. Those are the 24 players drafted before David Pasternak and how their careers have panned out so far. So how would you redraft the 2014 first round? Does Pasta go first overall? Let us know in the comments. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more videos.